In today's video um, also involves the GoPro. And I have a bunch of archival footage from like years past for this one and I've been waiting to present this. I mean, this is what it's come to. But anyways, um, no, this is not any new footage from this thing. Um, this is just back archival footage. So, um, more like a, well, it is throwback Thursday. So, um, why not send in a blast from the past? So, hope everybody enjoys it. And, um, we'll see you guys after that. Hey guys, so today's video was supposed to be presented last week, but I had to delay it by a week to get all the necessary footage for it. But this is a boogie boarding compilation, and it all starts from 2014, and this was from August of 2014. So let's get started. And I'm not even gonna hint what the what this week's term is, so you're gonna have to wait till the very end if you want to see what that is. Now I'm just making a way out to catch the new waves, and now I'm. On the day I shot this particular video, it was the first time I've actually taken my GoPro into the ocean and actually taped it. So, um, I actually have a little, um, I had a floaty back door, so just in case it fell off the board, because, um, I didn't have, like, a little mount to put on it, because, a lot, worst case scenario, I would have bumped my head into it, and, um, it would have ended up pretty nasty. And I just say that uh, just because um, it's um, could have been that way. Now, I don't know if you can tell by the original recording of this audio clip, which I'm recording this voiceover through that, so it kind of drowns it out a bit. But I think I was a freshman when I filmed this. Wow, that is old. That is, like, super old. I mean, that was almost seven years ago. I mean... <laughs> I said 2014, I said August 2014, so yeah, I was a freshman. Um, this is super old. And, and I'm sorry if it was like a bit diagonal. So as you can see, the swell kind of picked up a bit, but um, it was good enough for um, this tiny session. And I have two more sessions from 2015, I believe that I have lined up here as well. I have one from 2016, and I think I got one... I mean, I was going to get one for 2019, but... Um, and that is the most recent one I did before this pandemic, because um, because of this pandemic, I was unable to have any footage from this year. So um, there's always next year for that. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That was a really good wave right there. And... Um, as you can kind of see, um, I didn't go that far because this is the number one thing that I'll suggest is that um, always go within your abilities. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't, might make it into this week's term. And again, I'm saying it at the very end of this video and I will go over the many definitions of it. It's a very long one, so, um, again, you're gonna have to wait till the very end if you want to hear about it, so, um, and again, this is in August, um, and a little update, the next session was actually at a different beach in August, and then the third one I'm doing, the rest of them are at this same beach from 2015, 2016, and 2019. Again, I didn't get any this year because of the pandemic. And you can kind of see the pier in the distance. And yeah. This is one of the more popular beaches of San Diego. And it's actually the busiest. Um, and this is Mission Beach. And it is pretty cool. As you can see, um, the swell is about the same as um, the last video. It's always like this. Um, and I mean, I do have some footage 
probably from when I was a sophomore, but um, I didn't have that in this one. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a good one. That was a good wave right there. Um, let's see if I could find another wave in here. Yep. That one pretty much got me in. And um, another thing that should be considered, at least here, is that sometimes, let me tell you something, getting stung by a stingray is real. They're called stingrays for a reason. So I don't know if you guys would see it. You probably won't see it, but I was just shuffling in to the sea bed below. And that will pretty much scare away the scene rays. Luckily, I've never been a victim to this type of venomous incident yet. And now you know something new. I've played it safe. <sighs> and once again, due to the coronavirus pandemic, I was unable to have any footage from this year. So I'm using footage from years past. And I'm going to be honest. Um, see, this is where the swell kind of picked up. And the waves came in a bit more frequently. There were some more sets coming in. And at the most, there is more like about one, one and a half meters. So that's about like uh, three to four feet ish or something. Uh, the waves were not socially distanced, by the way. I'm just going to make that pun there right now. And here goes the next wave. I'm going to catch this one over here. And, um, and, whoa, okay, not that one. It's going to be this one, actually. Yep. Uh, I kind of missed that one. And, and now I. And I kind of got that one, and I'm going to get this one. And and the thing about boogie boarding is um, try not to get into any of the barrel formations because that m may result in you g um, going under for a bit and then washing ashore, which is not a good sign. So... That's just from my experience. Um, and here comes the next one. And this is where this session will come to an end. And we're going to go on with the next one. This was in 2015 now. So this is about, I would say... Uh, seven-ish or so months later and the thing about going into this water uh, at least at this time of year uh, I'm gonna stress this um, it, um, is pretty much frigid in terms of water temperature I mean it's gonna be definitely it's definitely a relief if a heat wave strikes around that time of year which it rarely hasn't since this event um, from 2015 so, um, but when it's like n normal or ambient, then, um, it's, you're going to come out feeling like um, you kind of stepped out of a log cabin in, um, I'm going to say Mammoth Lakes because that's one of the areas where it snows a lot. Um, sure, I could have named Big Bear City, but, um, We're getting there. I, but the last place, at least in a snow-capped location, is, uh, was Lake Arrowhead back in 2019. Again, I had a video of that. That is also on my channel. And, um, I'm about to get into the waves here. Um, and as you can also see um uh, got a better view of the pier over here and 
you can also see um, the, this swell kind of died down a bit so um, and also I'm trying to adjust my camera here so I do apologize if you just keep seeing the sky and there's our sun and there's the sun um, again and with this particular day um, Okay, so in case you don't know how the season works, work is that um, they get, we all know this, it gets a bit longer during the summer and shorter during the winter. And this was around mid spring, so it was almost equal um, in terms of the hours of day, daylight and nighttime. And. I hope you enjoyed those little tips, at least for for boogie boards. Trust me, those are the ones I used, so I thought I'd pass them on to you. And again, um, the last time I've actually wrote a boogie board was in 2019. But here it is. Maybe we'll get into it next year. Get back into it, I should say. And, um, and also, while the sky is still in your picture, um, once again, I want to say thank you for 40 subscribers. And then again, here's a little screenshot from the Instagram poll. 100% of you again said summer storm. And the first, the second part of that maker actually got underway as of the day I'm editing this video together. Um, I actually had the carpet steamed. So you're still going to see some stuff bundled up behind me. Again, I've yet to sort that as we speak. But then again, I, here we go. <laughs> that was, ooh, that, that was, that was. That wave went by me like very, very quickly. And ooh, okay, 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 okay. And again, I believe I was still a freshman at this time. Yeah, I said April 2015. So yes, I was still a freshman. Um, I have some footage from when I was a sophomore, but that was, I'm going to cringe even more about that. So I'm just not going to include that in here. I might as well cringe about the footage I have from my freshman year. So... <laughs> Um, so I'm literally cringing as we speak, so, um, oh, okay, okay. And I think that was it for that one. Again, um, there are a few more sessions that I have to present for you, and then we will go into the term of the week. Because of time, I'm just going to fast forward. This is from June 2016. This is back when I was transitioning from my sophomore to my junior year. And um, the next one that I'm going to do, this one was from June 2019. And I guess you can call this a wipeout. And the last one that's going to come up here in about five seconds was from August of 2019. And that was, this was the most recent footage I have. And look at that monsoonal moisture. And that's it. That is all the surf footage I have. Um, let's go into the term of the week because I've been talking about surf culture and everything all day long. Let's, go, let's do a surf term this week. And this week's term is kook. Um, it's a stereotype in surf culture, authoring going to an expert spot with wrong time of equipment, interfering with other surfers, or claiming they can surf when in reality it falls bored any time, every time. And this can extend to other water-based board sports. In skateboarding, this could also be called a poser. Uh, those falling under stereotype are subject to appearing in a TikTok-centric program called Cook of the Week, and also Cook of the Day. And according to TikTok, one in every three surfers is has been called a kook. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, with that said, uh, let's... Roll the outro and uh, see you guys next week.